Be polite. You want them to buy your stuff. Be courteous. Be nice. Remember the golden rule of selling. Do not resort to violence. <laughs> Come in. Yes, I'll see you through the week, Mr. Devine. Hello there, Mr. McMinn. How, how you doing? Very well, considering, Mr. McGlashan. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry about that, you know, you just... Uh, you never know what an artist's got to do next, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm sure Shakespeare was never done jamming his agent's head in the filing cabinet. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I understand you've got some plays for me. Tell me about them. Oh, yeah. Look, it's, it's the best stuff I've ever done, OK? You're, you're, you're going to love this, OK? Right. This one's called the Hurley Burley Bag. What's it about? Right, it's, it's about this bag, OK, called the Hurley Burley Bag, right? <laughs> and, and based on a legend about a magical bag called the uh, Hurley Burley Bag. Aye, right, the, 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 the Hurley Burley Bag, right? And if you find this Hurley Burley Bag mm. and you put your hand into it, you get special powers and one wish. And one night this miner's out down near Shorts, you know. Oh, Shorts Bonacord. Shorts Bonacord, aye. <laughs> out by the rings there and it's dark and he finds the Hurley Burley Bag. And he puts his hand deep into the bag and he gets one wish. And he gets to go on sports night and stop Jimmy Hill in the head and go, Take that, you big chinned English bastard! <laughs> Is that it? No, no, no. He also gets to shove Elton Wellsby's face in a food mixer. <laughs> well, I don't want to rush the conclusions, Mr. McGlashan, but it doesn't sound very dramatic. <laughs> it's a comedy. What's your other play called? Nip nap shite. <laughs> well, you've certainly got an eye for a title. Aye, aye. About? It's a, it's a political drama, right? It's about the SNP. They put up this candidate, OK, called... Uh, McGlashan. McGlashan, aye, right, in, uh, in John Major's seat, right? And because he's, he's so brilliant and Scottish, right, he wins with a 50,000 majority, OK? Uh, and John Major has to go on television and make this resignation speech, and he goes, uh, look, I'm really sorry for everything I've done. I just, I just couldn't help it. I'm just a big English poof. Right? <laughs> what do you think? It's pathetic. <laughs> All your plays are the same, McGlashan. They're all about beating up English people. Oh, they are, are they? <laughs> what about traveller in time? Oh, yes, markedly different. The man invents a time machine, goes back to 1965 and shoots Jeff Hurst. <laughs> No, what it is, is you're racist. <laughs> what, I'm a racist, am I now? Oh, really? I'm a... Is that what you think? I'm a racist? Well, I'm not. And I can prove it. I can prove it. I agree. All men are alike, sure, yeah. Australians, Tibetans, Chinese, Argentinians, French, Russians. All men are alike. <laughs> Except the bloody English! <laughs> Is, right? Even if Scotland exists for another five million years, we would never, ever, ever produce someone like Emlyn Hughes! <laughs> 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 